Welcome to your CrossFit Cure at Home workout for Saturday, August 22nd, last workout of the week. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this week. We got one more shark workout for you today. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. And our warm-up is gonna be three rounds of 10 slow single dumbbell muscle cleans. So single dumbbell muscle clean, uh, dumbbells hanging at your side, one arm at a time. You can go ahead and do five each side here. Uh, shrug the shoulder nice and slow. Bring that dumbbell up like you're zipping up your jacket and then send your elbow through like this and then back down nice and slow. Uh, five each arm there. Then we've got 10 lunges, elbow to the floor. So alternating lunges. These are sort of that um, elbow to instep lunge, but uh, five each side here and try and come back up each time out of that lunge. So right, step up, step forward into that front lunge, bring your elbow to the floor, come all the way up to a stand here, okay? Then we've got 15 plyo push-ups and these can be scaled to be done off our knees. Plyo push-up is an explosive push-up, so we'll go down to the bottom of push-up and then we wanna push up so hard that our hands come off the ground, okay? Scale these to, again, off your knees, uh, off an elevated surface, even off a wall. It's that explosive chest and tricep push. Then we will finish with 20 flutter kicks. So on our back, legs out, and flutter kicks, again, either in a hollow hold or off our flat back. That is it for our warm-up three rounds there, and then we will move on to our workout. Workout today is called Black Tip Shark. This is five rounds for time of dips, hang, uh, dumbbell hang power clean, and sorry, hang clean and jerk, and then dumbbell thrusters. So let's talk about each movement and the scale for each. The first is going to be nine dips. We have a few different ways we can scale this. Um, if you have a box or a bench, we're gonna wanna dip off that. Um, we can also scale that to a higher elevated surface like a countertop or a chair. Um, a couple ways uh, we can scale this to make it uh, a little bit easier if we struggle with dips is either range of motion, so not working as deep in the dip, or bringing our toes closer in underneath us and getting some support off our feet, okay? So I'll try and demo those uh, in the videos just to make sure that we can see all the variations we can do so that we can hit nine dips. Second movement, 15 alternating hang dumbbell clean and jerk. So single dumbbell uh, from the hang position. So if we're using one, it's gonna be right in front of us. We're gonna hold it right down in front of our waist. We are going to dip, come up, shrug our shoulders, pull that up, um, just like we work the slow muscle cleans the same way. Bring that up to our shoulder and then a little dip and punch that overhead, up overhead, and then bring it back down, switch hands and do it again on the other. 15, um, it's an odd number. You're gonna do five rounds. You're gonna get odd reps. It's okay. Last movement is 21 single dumbbell thrusters. Again, these are going to be um, alternating here. So down off your uh, dumbbell on your shoulder, down into that squat, and then come up explosively, punch that overhead bring it back down, switch sides, and then down and do it again. We're gonna go ahead and alternate every rep here for 21. Those are all the movements. Scaling on the clean and jerks and the thrusters is just going to be decreasing the weight, or if we're not able to decrease the weight, let's uh, decrease, the rep, uh, decrease the repetitions to two thirds. So we can do uh, 10 clean and jerks and uh, 14 thrusters if we need to decrease the repetitions there. So five rounds for time. Try out all the scales before you start so you can make sure which one is gonna work for you guys. All right, accessory work today is three sets of 10 slow supinated dumbbell rows. So supinated means our grip, we're gonna do palms up grip, grab the dumbbells, bent row position, pulling uh, our elbows up and back, pulling the weight to basically to the bottom of our ribs and back down. 30 light dumbbell front raises. If you don't have a light dumbbell, find something else light. You know, you can use cans of soup or something like that. And dumbbells in your hands, bringing them straight out in front of you, arms up to shoulder height and nice and slow back down. Don't swing these. It's not about momentum. We're trying to work the fronts of our shoulders here. And then 30 light dumbbell reverse flies. So in that bent row position again, but instead of rowing up, we're bringing our arms out to that T position. Three sets of each of those movements, and then we are on to our stretching. 
stretching today is two sets of couch stretch each leg. So uh, find uh, something you can stretch your back leg off or use your hand. Um, make sure to put something under your knee so that it's not killing your knee. Minute each leg and then uh, one minute alternating triangle pose so standing up nice wide stance arms out to a T and then hinging down and touching our foot on one side and then coming back up and down to the other side that is our alternating triangle pose that's our stretching that is it for Saturday and for this week thank you guys for watching I uh, hope you enjoy if you have any questions as always go ahead and send myself or Gene a message and we'll help you out there uh, otherwise have a good weekend we'll see you next week